Greetings, everybody. Chaplain Bob Walker here. Uh, we're going to take a look at Ezekiel 46, continuation of the Ezekiel series. Uh, you know, Chaplain Bob Walker, Light of the World Ministries, John 8, 12. You know the rest. Let's get going here. Chapter 46 in verse 1. Thus saith the Lord God, the gate of the inner court that looketh toward the east shall be shut the six working days. But on the Sabbath it shall be opened. And in the day of the new moon it shall be opened. And the prince shall enter by the way of the porch of that gate without, and shall stand by the post of the gate, and the priests shall prepare his burnt offering and his peace offering, and he shall worship at the threshold of the gate. Then he shall go forth, but the gate shall not be shut until the evening. Likewise, the people of the land shall worship at the door of this gate before the Lord in the Sabbaths, in the new moons, and in the new moons. And the burnt offering that the prince shall offer unto the Lord in the Sabbath day shall be six lambs without blemish and a ram without blemish. And the meat offering shall be an ephah for a ram and the meat offering for the lamb shall be able to give an and an hin of oil to an ephah. And in the day of the new moon, it shall be a young bullock without blemish and six lambs and a ram. They shall be without blemish. Verse 7. And he shall prepare a meat offering, an ephah for a bullock and an ephah for a ram. And for the lambs, lambs, according to his hand, shall attain unto and an hin of oil to an ephah. And when the prince shall enter, he shall go in by the way of the porch of that gate, and he shall go forth by the way thereof. But when the people of the land shall go, uh, shall come before the Lord in the solemn feasts. Solemn feasts. Let's stop right here. Uh, there were, let's see, three times a year that all the males were supposed to present themselves to the Lord, either at the tabernacle or the temple. Uh, one was Passover, the other tabernacles, and I don't remember the other one. I wonder if it's Pentecost. I'm not sure. But there was three times. And believe it or not, in the kingdom, at least for the first thousand years, it appears that it's going to happen again. Verse 9, But when the people of the land shall come before the Lord in the solemn feasts, he that entereth in by the way of the north gate to worship shall go out, go out by the way of the south gate. And he that entereth by the way of the south gate shall go forth by the way of the north gate. He shall not return by the way of the gate whereby he came in and shall go forth over against it. So if you come in one way, you got to leave the other way. I guess that's uh, the Lord's way of saying he wants you to change your direction or, you know, what you're doing. I'm not sure, but... Uh, Let's see. Now, if you want to know about, um, let me see something here. All right, verse 10. And the prince in the midst of them, when they go in, shall go in, and when they go forth, shall go forth. And in the feasts and in the solemnities, in the meat offering, shall be an ephod to a bullock and an ephod to a ram and to the lambs as he is able to give and an hen of oil to an ephod. Now when the prince shall prepare a voluntary burnt offering or peace offerings, 
voluntarily unto the Lord, one shall then open him the gate that looketh toward the east, and he shall prepare his burnt offering and his peace offering, as he did on the Sabbath day. Then he shall go forth, and after his going forth, one shall shut the gate. Verse 13. Thou shalt daily prepare a burnt offering unto the Lord of a lamb of the first year without blemish. Thou shalt prepare it every morning, and thou shalt prepare a meat offering for it every morning, the sixth part of an ephah and the third part of a hin of oil, to temper with the fine flour a meat offering continually by a perpetual ordinance unto the Lord. Thus shall they prepare the lamb and the meat offering and the oil every morning, for a continual burnt offering. Thus saith the Lord God, If the prince give a gift unto any of his sons, the inheritance thereof shall be his sons, it shall be their possession by inheritance. But if he give a gift of his inheritance to one of his servants, then it shall be his to the year of liberty, after it shall return to the prince, but his inheritance shall be his, his sons for them. Moreover, the prince shall not take of the people's inheritance by oppression. And that's what Ahab did. King Ahab, that wicked King Ahab, who was married to Jezebel. A guy had a vineyard next to the king's, where the king was, and the king saw it and liked it. And uh, Jezebel had him killed and then stole his property. And I'm sure Ahab's kind of wishing he hadn't done that now, but uh, he's probably cursing God. Moreover, 18, Moreover, the prince shall not take of the people's inheritance by oppression to thrust them out of their possession, but he shall give his son's inheritance out of his own possession that my people be not scattered every man from his possession. And he brought me through the entry, which was at the side of the gate, into the holy chambers of the priests, which looked toward the north, and behold, there was a place on the two sides westward. Then said he unto me, This is the place where the priests shall boil the trespass offering, and the sin offering, where they shall bake the meat offering, that they bear them not out into the utter court to sanctify the people. Verse 21. Then he brought me forth into the utter court, and caused, caused me to pass by the four corners of the court. Behold, in every corner of the court there was a court. In the four corners of the court, there were courts joined of 40 cubits long and 30 broad. These four corners were of one measure. And there was a row of building round about in them, round about them four, and it was made with boiling places under the rows round about. Then said he unto me, These are the places of them that boil, where the ministers, where the ministers of the house shall boil the sacrifice of the people. All right. All blessings, praise, glory, and honor in Jesus' name. Amen. Ezekiel 46.